Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. Today I would like to present my research problem with title on suction effects on an unsteady casein hybrid nanofit film plus a stretching sheet with heat transfer analysis. My name is Nur Eliana Binti Kamis. I, I am a master's student from Departments of Mathematical Sciences Faculty of Science University Technology Malaysia, Johor Bahru. We go to presentation outline. Firstly, we have introduction, we do the definition of the highlighted term that used in this study. The second is the mathematical formulation. We explain the governing equation together with boundary conditions in form of PDE and also ODE. We explain the solution approach. The next one is the result and discussion. We do the verification of our result. We explain the behavior of velocity profiles and also temperature profiles. And the last one is the conclusion. We have microfabrication. Microfabrication is the example for thin film feed flow. In microfabrication, it constructs physical objects with dimension in the, in the micrometer to millimeter range and it creates using multiple thin film. In electronic devices, film may contain conductive metals that allow for the flow of electricity. In optical devices, reflective or transparent film to improve the visibility and clarity in medical devices, the chemical film to inhibit microfibular growth. So, from this application, it encourages our attention to conduct the research on the suction effects on heat transfer in a thin film flow across a stretching sheet. So, as we go to the definition, firstly, we have heat transfer. Heat transfer is a sign that predicts the transfer of heat energy from one body to another. And it, and it occurs in three way mechanism, which is convection, radiation, and conduction. In this study, we focus on convection. Convection is a mechanism of heat flows between a, so, between a free and solid surface. The next one is a thin film. Heat produced through process called thin film decomposition, which is a process of applying thin film onto a surface that is to be coated. The next one is a suction. Suction of a fluid through bonding surface can significantly change the fluid flow, which is fluid being shut with a reactant at porous sheet. This is the uh, mathematical formulation. So, uh, this figure displays a thin fluid flow consists of fluid partially bonded by a solid substrate with a free surface, where the liquid is exposed to another liquid. And from this diagram, we will come up with momentum equation and energy equation and from this figure we can see that the horizontal plane is placed at x axis from narrow state and y is perpendicular to it and at horizontal plane we have force so we have u is subscript of the body d is the stress velocity with this equation and d is the constant mass transfer with this equation v is we have two uh, Cases. Firstly, is a suction when V is greater than zero. For injection K, we have V is less than zero. V not here is a represent for initial velocity of the reactant. And at the horizontal plane, also we have T the value. T is a surface temperature with this equation. T not here is a represent for state temperature and T ref here is a represent for reference temperature. Mu here is the kinematic viscosity. Uh, H in term of T is represent for T flint thickness and for hybrid nanoparticle we have two types of nanoparticle which is the copper from, met from metal group and alumina from, from metal oxide group. Then we go to the carbon equation together with boundary condition is form of PDE. We have a momentum equation and also energy equation. For momentum equation we have this equation rho here is a represent for density of the hybrid nanofit and mu here is a represent for effective dynamic viscosity. Beta here is for Kessel parameter and D is the energy equation that used in this study. Cp here is a represent for energy capacity of the hybrid nanofit and K, H and F here is represent for thermal conductivity hybrid nanofit. As we go to the boundary condition, we have two types of boundary condition. Uh, where when y is equal to zero, we have this equation. U here is represent for velocity at x direction, and capital of U is for surface velocity. V is the velocity components 
in y direction and capita of P is the uh, constant mass parameter which is the suction or injection and T subscript of the body area is represent for temperature of the stretching sheet. The second boundary condition we have y is equal to H in term of T, the U over del Y and del T over del Y is equal to zero and V is equal to dH over dt. It shows the rate of change of T film thickness at Y direction. The next one is the similarity transformation. We introduce the similarity transformation to reduce our governing equation in form of PDE into the simple set of ODE from the published paper. So this is the uh, psi for symmetry transformation with variable of f in term of eta. Psi here is a represent for sin function. The second uh, symmetry transformation we have t we will we theta in term of eta. Eta is represent this equation and delta is show the thickness of the film with this equation. The next one is the governing equation and boundary condition in form of DE. After we impose the symmetry transformation into the simple into the PDE, we get the governing equation and body condition in form of ODE. So this is the momentum equation. A1 and A2 is a represent for hybrid nanofit constant. A gamma A is a represent for film thickness and S A is the unsteadiness parameter. And D is the energy equation in form of ODE. A3 and A4 here is for hybrid nanofit constant. PR here is represent for contact number. And D is the boundary condition. We have the constant of the value. D is the suction or injection velocity. Then we go to the solution approach. We use the color box method to solve the transform, uh, transform, uh, transform equation by using MATLAB software. Firstly, we reduce our governing ODE into the first order system. We introduce the new dependent uh, variable. The next one, we go to the domain discretization by finite different method by using central different method. The, and then we apply the new term method to linearize our, uh, our finite diff, our, our, our equation. And then we form the plot trigonal matrix by using plot elimination method and we solve the matrix by using Thomas algorithm so we get the result. For the result and discussion, firstly we do the verification. We compare our result uh, with the published paper which is one study and it shows the good agreement between our study and one study. The next one is velocity profiles. We can see that our result is specify our boundary condition where when eta is equal to 0, f prime eta is equal to 1. And from this slide, we can see uh, for the suction parameter, unsteadiness parameter, and caseum parameter, and also concentration of nanoparticle parameter show the same pattern where when, where when we increase our, when we increase the value of parameter, the velocity profile decrease and it reduce the momentum boundary layer. The next one is the profile. For the temperature profile, the suction unsteadiness and caseum parameter show the same pattern where when we increase the value of parameter, the temperature profile decrease and it reduce the thermal boundary layer. And for concentration of nanoparticles show the different pattern. Firstly, the heat transfer of caseum hybrid nanofi in a thin film under suction effects of weak and unsteady stretching sheet has been investigated. The second is the governing equation in form of PDEs together with boundary conditions have been transformed to ODEs by using similarity information. The second, uh, the third is the numerical solution is being obtained by using color box method in MATLAB software and the velocity and temperature profiles for unsteadiness suction, concentration of nanoparticle and caseum parameters plotted graphically and analyzed in detail. And the last one is the velocity decrease when all parameters increase and the temperature decrease when such when suction parameter and steadiness parameter and caseum parameter increase but increase for concentration parameter. So uh, this is the list of our reference.
uh, this work was supported by research grant from Ministry of Higher Education and also Research Manage Management Center of UTM. So, thank you.